What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So today we're going to go in here and we're going to talk about creating a cut face component. So a component that you can drop into a face and it'll kind of cut an opening into it. So this is super useful for things like windows and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first thing I want to talk about is there's a couple different ways you can do this. So you can start off if you want and you can model this in place or you can kind of model it off to the side and I'll kind of show you both options but um, we'll just kind of walk through this real quick. And the other thing to note is for this first method, um, I want to note that I'm cutting through just a single face in the exterior. So you can see how these walls don't have any depth. Um, so all that means is you're only cutting one face, not walls that are thicker. And we'll get into cutting walls um, that are thicker in just a minute. But first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to model a window, just like on our building, just like this. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to click and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle on this wall, just like this, and we'll call this four foot by four foot. But then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna use the offset tool to kind of offset this just like this. And so what you're gonna do then is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna give this a little bit of depth. And you're going to go ahead and give this kind of a glass color, so you, or a glass material. So you can see how when you look at this, you can see through it into your object. And you can see I modeled this right on my face. So I kind of took this face and made it see through just like this. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to select our object by dragging a box around it. And we're going to make it a component. So if I right click on it and I click make component, there's a couple options that we're gonna wanna mess with. So the first thing we can do is we can come in here and call this window one or whatever you wanna call it. So you can start off with that. And then uh, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you see where it says glue to, you're gonna wanna make sure this glue to is set to any. So, and basically what this means is this will take your component and glue it to any face. So if I was to take this window and stick it into my roof, it would glue it to my roof. Um, if I was to put it on the floor, it would um, glue it to the floor. So all that means is it'll take your object and it'll uh, change the orientation to match any face that you put it over. And then once you set this glue to to any, and there are a couple other options in here as well, if you wanted this to be like just a window or just like a, like a skylight or something like that you could select like a sloped but for now we're just going to select any and then we're going to make sure this box labeled cut opening is checked and also the box labeled replace selection with component is checked so basically you're telling it we want to create this component glue it to any face that i put it over and i want it to cut an opening and one other thing to note about this is if you look in here at this window you see how there's kind of a uh uh, gray box around the outside of your window basically what that's indicating is that's indicating that this is the face that it's going to cut so what it means is anytime you put this in here um, whatever face is right here is what it's going to cut so this is a great way to double check and make sure that you've got your cut component set up correctly so once you get this kind of preview box but then go ahead and click create just like this and you can see how um, nothing really changed in this one, but you can tell that it's got this glass material in here just like this. And the nice thing about this is if I move it around on this face, the cut moves with it. So um, this allows you to really be, uh, be flexible with where you place your windows and stuff like that. So it's not creating a permanent cut in this face. It's basically just taking the cut with it wherever your window goes. And so now if you come over to the component section of your tray, your window is going to show up over here, but you can click on that and then click on a face just like this. And you can see how what that did is that came in here and that cut another opening in this face just like this. So, and just for kind of example, for an example, if I was to make a copy of this just like this and make it unique so we'll call it oops so if i was to come in here and call this window one no cut and uncheck the cut opening option and then come in here and drop that on my face right here 
you can see how it doesn't cut an opening in my wall. So even though this is a translucent gl glass material, it's not cutting a rectangle in this wall. And so we, what you would have to do in order for that to work properly is you'd have to come in here and draw um, basically your window out on there. So basically what I did is I drew a rectangle and I had my window inside of it. Um, and then I just deleted out the face. But the problem with that is now if I move this on my face, like this, my opening doesn't move with me, so now I've got like this ugly opening in my wall, so I'd have to manually go in there and do that. So that's why having a cut component like this is important, um, so that you have the ability to come in here and move these windows around, just like this, and have the cut move with them. So it's a very useful thing to be able to do. And so another way that you could come in here and you could do this is if you didn't want to model this on your face just like this, like if you wanted to come over here and model this off to the side, what you could do is you could come in here and you could draw like a four foot, comment two foot window just like this. So you could draw this on a face off to the side um, and then you could make it however thick you want it to be. You could give it a little depth, come in here and give it some material. But then you could come in here and make it a component over here and you can see how kind of the same thing you can't see it very well but you can see how there's kind of this uh, little rectangle on this face over here so we could call this window small do the same thing glue to any cut opening replace selection with component and then create it well now if I drop that into my model just like this it's going to do the same thing so you can either model these in place and then um, bring in extra copies using the components piece or you can model it off to the side um, to make sure everything's kind of working properly and then go ahead and bring this in and you can see how this has a little bit of depth going into the wall where the other one I kind of modeled it the other way where I just have kind of a frame coming off the wall but you can come in here and you can still model this just like a component if you want to but you can see how I can move this around on my wall wherever I wanted it to be so this is really good for doors and stuff like that too so the trick is um, one of the things that this does not allow you to do is if you have a wall with some thickness to it so like this one for example you've got a wall right here that um, that has a back face and a front face so it actually has like six inches of thickness assuming I set this depth right yep so this has six inches of thickness so if you were to bring this uh, window that you set up before in here you can see it's only cutting through the first face it's not cutting through the second face so it's not going all the way through and that's something that you kind of have to work around um, SketchUp SketchUp's not really built right now um, to cut an opening in thickened faces just like this and that doesn't mean there's not a way to do it but it gets a little tricky you kind of have to work around it a little bit and so what you would do if you wanted to work around it is you would come in here and basically we'll create our cutting face on here but basically what you would do is you do the same thing you'd come in here and you'd model your window so four foot by four foot you would draw a box in here just like this so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off and you're gonna come in here and you're just gonna model your window so just like we did before so I'm gonna give this kind of a two inch offset and I'm gonna give this a depth that's equal to the depth of the wall so I'm gonna call this six inches just like this and we're gonna do the same thing we did before where we come in here and first of all I'm gonna reverse all my faces there we go so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna make this a cut component so just select component call this um, double wall example part one make sure all your options are selected properly the glue to and the cut opening um, and then click create so what that does is that's exactly the same that's exactly the same as what we've done before so it's kinda cutting an opening in your uh, it's cutting an opening in your original face right here the difference is now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're going to create a copy of our cutting face and move it down so that it's level with this wall and then we're gonna go ahead and cut out the inside of it just like this and then we're gonna delete that out 
And then all we're going to do is we're going to select these four objects just like this. Right click and say make component. And we're going to make these four lines into cutting into our second cutting plane. So we're going to call this cutting plane number two. Um, same settings, glue to any and cut opening. And so now what you have is you've got these four lines over here that are acting as a cutting surface on the back side. And then you've got your object that's acting as a cutting surface on the front side. So, and then what you can do is you can come in here and you can make that a component. So we'll call that make component and we'll call this complete window. And you can go ahead and set these settings in here, but it's not going to work exactly right because SketchUp doesn't allow you it only allows an object to have one cutting plane. So right now if I take my window and I drop it into this face, first of all it's not going to work right because my axes are messed up. So when you create this component what you want is wherever the axes are is the face that it's going to insert this on. So you can see how this is inserting this on the back face right now. So if I drop that onto my face, it's not going to go into my wall. So what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to adjust the axes of your object. So just come in here and set your axes to the top face, just like this, instead of the bottom face. And then you're going to click outside of it and you're going to say yes when it asks if you want to update your component axes. And then you're going to come click on the face. Well, now you can see how it's inserting it into this wall right here. And you can see how it's only cutting one face of your wall. So you see how I'm getting a little bit of a kind of color distortion in the back side here. It's only cutting one face of the wall because SketchUp only allows a component to have one cut face active at a time. But what you can do now that you have this in your wall is you can right click on it and you can explode it. So you can see how when I exploded it, basically what I did is I broke it up into the individual pieces just like this. So you can see how now, I know it's a little bit complicated, but you can see how now basically I've got my front cut face set. So if I move this around and I don't move the back one, then I have the same problem, right? It's only cutting the front side of the wall. Um, and same thing on the back side. If I move this back cutting face around, it's not moving the front piece. But, so each one of these is an individual component. So SketchUp's letting it cut this back face with the back object and the front face with the front object. But the thing is, if you select both of them, you can still move it around on this wall in order to cut through this double-sided wall. So it's definitely a workaround. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but it's definitely better than having to come in here and cut all of these manually. So that's just kind of a workaround for the double face cut component issue. So there are some other things out there. Um, I think um, I think Dale Martin's just released a extension called Double Cut that allows you to create components that cut through double-sided walls um, that works pretty good as well if you don't like this workaround because this is a little bit of a complicated workaround. But in any case, that's just kind of a quick run through of how you create cut components in your model. So um, anyway, that's where I'm in today's video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you're using? Did you even know how to use cut components? I know I didn't really use them very much until I started researching this tutorial. So I'd love to hear what you think. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I know I may have gone a little bit fast on some of this stuff. I'd be happy to help you out with some of your questions. So if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.